We're back at Shannon's for their classic winter auction. Behind me we've got an array of different cars, Japanese, Euro, Aussie, all the usual stuff you expect to see. I'm gonna go have a look. There's over 200 lots up for this auctions. It starts on August 2nd, so let's get into it. So we're back here at Shannon's Auctions in Melbourne with Ryan Ledner. Now, mate, you've got some interesting cars here. The auction starts next week, I believe? Yes, so auction, auction kicks off 2nd uh, second and, second of August, sorry, I was going to say November. 2nd of August, yep. runs for one week. So looking at 2nd uh, to the 9th of August. And you've got cars not only here in Sydney and We've Brisbane? got Sydney, Melbourne and Brisbane auction uh, all running together this auction. And it's all online, so you can bid on anything, can't you? It certainly is, yes. Yeah. Now, the first car I noticed here, something growing up, these uh, Bentleys. Yes, the uh, uh, 1996 uh, Bentley Turbo R. In the flesh, these, these things are enorm enormous. They are a big girl. Bit of weight behind them, but certainly have the motor to, uh, to power on as well. I always remember they had very high sidewall tyres, 17 inch or a 235 60 series. <laughs> You'd never see something like that now. No, no <laughs> not in a 60 series tyre. Big engine, aren't they? 6.7 litres, I think. This thing just screams uh, high maintenance cost to me. <laughs> <laughs> it's a decent sized turbo on the thing. That's yes. a Garrett. It is a Garrett, factory Garrett turbo. Factory Garrett, it looks like a T4 sized uh, turbo there. Would it have to be on, a, on an engine this big? How much power, do you know how much power they make? Uh, honestly, I couldn't tell you to be very honest. They have uh, to make a lot of torque. It's in pretty good condition inside. It's been well looked after. It's been very, very well looked after. It's gone through a couple of collectors, a couple of private hands. Yeah. That uh, has lived a pampered life. As you said, this would be a road trip. This would be awesome, wouldn't it? Put oh, the, this would be a great road trip car. Across the Nullarbor you go as long as you've got the, uh, the fuel card to go with it. Yeah, I was thinking that this thing in today's uh, market, ooh, it's a bit pricey, but it's not pricey for what it is, really. Wouldn't you sit there and work out what they were brand new? Yeah. This would have to weigh over two tonne, wouldn't it? I think so, yes. Yeah. Yeah, I remember when they went to these more modern style lights. It's really the old car, just uh, with uh, different bumpers on it. And this Mercedes, Ryan, I love the colour of it. Yep, and tobacco brown. Another car that's got a really cool interior. You can't beat pillarless doors. So the, the last time we did this video, a few of the comments were complaining we didn't mention the prices. Okay. Now they can, they are online. They but, are online. You can got, jump on the website. But we've got, we, we, do, have we do have buying guides. Yes. A rough estimate. We've got guiding ranges go. on all the cars. So the Bentley, so I think it was sixty to eighty. Yeah, sixty to eighty thousand. Sixty to eighty. And the Mercedes here. We got sixty-five to seventy-five on. Yeah. So these are just guides. Yeah. You know, nothing to say they can't go above, but we certainly hope they. They go within the guides. Yeah. What's happened lately with cars? Who knows, yeah? That's it. What's this one? It's a bit of a bits of this car, is it, this Beamer? A little bit. It's a uh, 535i that's uh, had the MPAC popped on it. Um, so we've got rear spoiler, um, the BBS wheels, or BBS style wheels. I'm assuming they might have been silver factory. I think so, yeah. yeah. It certainly looks a bit odd with the black mesh. Yeah, factory manual 535i. One of my favourite shapes. And the, uh, the fun thing with this is it is no reserve, so it will be selling on the night for the highest price. Okay. Got a guiding range on this at 10 to 15 grand. Okay. Ready Good bit a, of fun. Ready for an LS turbo conversion. <laughs> 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 Certainly keep the maintenance cost down on this one. You'd be better off buying one of these and, and doing that than buying an Aussie car. Yep. Better drive better. Oh, the comment section's going to hate me. Just need to find an LS that's cheap. That's a good point. Oh, the old phone. I remember that. Now, I reckon probably my favourite car of the auction is one of the smallest. Look at that. Mark 1 Golf GDI. Now, this is a cool little thing. It's in really good condition too. It's, it's in lovely, lovely condition. Oh, this could be a full boost project car, Ryan. That's a, so it's a 78 GDI Mark 1. Guiding range on this, we're looking at 15 to 25. Left hand drive. Left hand drive. Finished in bright red with a tartan trim. So yeah. You can't go wrong with that interior. Mind you, I think it might be a love-hate relationship. There might be, uh, might be a lot that aren't a fan. Mm. And the iconic golf uh, golf gear knob as well. I saw that. I mean, it's parked next to a Honda. Is it? That's an S six hundred, isn't S600, it? S six hundred. Yep. And it doesn't even look that much bigger than it. No. It goes to show, yeah, just how little they were. What's the uh, Honda going for? It's a little little S six hundred. We've got a we've got a guiding range on this. 
uh, at 30 to 35. Yeah. Um, this has come all the way across from South Australia for us. It is probably one of the nicest running S600s that we've had. Mm. The little engines are, are quite a high strung motor in these, so it's it's a bit of work to get them to run right. So yeah, this is this has been a nice example to have here. How much can this car weigh? Oh, I think you'd be it's lucky if automatic. you got a ton. Yeah, it is an auto. Automatic in a car this small. Back then, yeah. And it's a two speed auto. It's not quite yeah. a, not not even quite a power glide. Not quite a power glide. <laughs> The power glide would be bigger than the car. <laughs> I didn't realise they did automatics in these. Yeah, it's funny. This is the second second Mighty Boy we've had now, and both have been autos. So I'm hanging it, hanging to get one in that's a manual. Buying range ten to fifteen. Ten to fifteen grand. So this and and no reserve. So this will will sell on the night for the highest price. Um, so look, this could be good buying for someone. Yeah, you know, if you've got yeah sort of yeah. seven or eight grand to spend, this will certainly be something to to consider. Yeah. Uh, good cheap fun off the summer nets. I was going to say that was exactly <laughs> what I was going to say. It looks like it's a, getting ready for a summer nets build. Yep. Uh, sit and prime for a summer nets build. Go full funny car on it. Oh, you can't have a Shannon's auction without a nice Porsche. Nice oh. color. It's like an ice, ice. Yeah, like an ice blue. blue. Yep. Yeah. So, and this is uh, quite a rare uh, one of only twenty five in the country that was that was a factory glass top okay. harder as well. Yeah. I don't think I've ever seen one of these before. Uh, it's, so the whole roof's glass? Yes. They're pretty basic inside, aren't they? They are. They were for the era. So what engine's in this one? So this is running the 3.6 litre six cylinder, and we've got a guiding range of this of 140 to 160. Okay. So how old's this one? That's a 1996. It's got a 347 stroker in it, a four-speed manual, uh, and this is a, a very, very early, uh, I believe it's car number three, RMC built Cobra, so locally built. Yeah. Yep. Buying range of 90 to 110. But um, there's a lot of variants on Cobras, isn't there? Yeah, um, certainly. So, yeah, got your choice of running gear, choice of chassis. It's a Barracuda, isn't it? Yes, our, our uh, 446 pack Cuda, finished in Moulin Rouge. Uh, fantastic colour. Once again, another no reserve car, guiding range of 90 to 120 on no this. No reserve. I used to do a lot of work for Chrysler Action Magazine because I didn't know much about Chryslers growing up. But uh, these American ones, there were so many different engine combinations you could yes. choose. I think one of the models, I think I counted it was something like 13 engine options. Different configurations. Configurations out of the factory on the same on the one car. Just upgrading your carbies out of the factory. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, I guess, yeah. Two barrels, four barrels, and then, yeah, you go for the whole hog and get a full six-pack. Now, this car over here, Ryan, I recognise it, but I, had, I could not remember for the life of me what it was. So there's a 2000 model Lincoln LS. Um, built on a Jaguar chassis when Ford was working with uh, with Jaguar and had the whole uh, interlaced sort of relationship yeah, going. Yep. Um, but yeah, lovely car, four liter four, uh, four liter V eight, automatic, Japanese import, factory right hand drive car. Oh, all right. Um, once again, another no reserve car, based off a European chassis from a, an American company, and it That's comes it. out of Japan. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> <laughs> all right, this car over here, I can't I can't keep my eyes off it. Pantera. When muscle meets European design and styling. I think they look fantastic. I love them. They're a good looking thing. Very agricultural, but hey, it works. Yeah. Nice big 351. Yeah, it's got to be loud in the car, isn't it? Yeah. And there's not a whole lot of room, unfortunately. Yeah. At least it's got the right seats for the job. I like, <laughs> the, air do. I like the air intakes. It's the right colour for it. Looks sensational. Great color. Color works really well on the car. 200 to 275, and this is an 85 GTS GT5 spec coupe. Yeah, so the GT5 was just the, the bigger guards and the bigger body kit, um, and a slight tweak on the motor. So obviously you've got cars in Sydney and Brisbane. Yes. What else in your catalogue there do you think is of interest? So some of the interesting to, ones. Probably to me. To you. Okay. I mean, there's stuff of interest to everyone, but. Um, I think one of the uh, one of the nice ones we've got is the uh, the E46 M3, yeah, uh, yeah, manual coupe, which is up in our Sydney auction. Yeah, quite a nice vehicle, especially finished in the uh, in the white. Oh, look at that Porsche 928. The oh, 928. Oh, I love those. Yep. So we've got yeah, we've got, you can take your pick of this one. Yeah. So we've got a GDS and we've got an S in this auction. Mm -hmm. um, so one in Sydney, one in Brisbane. So great examples of both cars. 500 SL convertible. That's pretty cool. Yep. Yeah, offered at no reserve as well. So that'll be. Uh, That'll be up for grabs. Yeah, the old GD4, not something you see see too much of. It's the uh, the first generation GD4s. 
That one's in Sydney? That's yep. a Sydney car, so a guiding range of that on 30 to 40. Hey, what's this down here, Ryan? This looks like a Barra Sleeper conversion. The XD, <laughs> millionth edition XD, ready for a Barra. Hey, look at that, it says you can get it from $6. Yeah, six bucks, six bargain. Bucks. <laughs> Oh, there's another XE. If you mix, miss S the pack. XD, we've got an XE as well for you. <coughs> Speaking of barrows, you've got an F6 Typhoon We do, there. BF Typhoon. A few Aussie cars. Oh, look at that, B in Group A. I love them. That's a that's a nice example, that one. Yeah. That's up in our Sydney show. You never see them anymore. You never saw them when they were new. No. Yeah, they're all gone into hiding. And for those that are into the uh, the Summonat build, we've got a, uh, yeah, a sensational Pontiac Laurentian. Very different for uh, Shannon's auction. Yeah, and it's got an LSX in it. Mighty Car Mods RX-7 up for grabs. Boys have brought that into us to auction. It's going to be going up no reserve. And another car over here, our mate Baz, 4G Baz, I love this Pajero. The Evo Padge. We've got a few uh, GC8s up here. What are they going for? 50 to 70, 40 to 50. So this is just a XB. XB GS. Looking, the buying range is around 70. It looks pretty standard apart from the wheels. Yep, and it's uh, yeah, had a built stroker in it at the moment. So, oh, yeah. fantastic power plant of an engine in this. Nice bodywork. It's a very, very presentable car as well. Is it a Group A or a Group 3? Uh, I think they're both, aren't they? I don't know. Group A, I Group 3? Th I, th I didn't think the Group 3s came in blue. I didn't know. Did they come in blue? They're the ones the I used blue to and see. The white ones? White ones, yeah, yeah. were more common. Group A slash Group 3. Some of our loyal fans will uh, tell us the difference. So what is it, a Group A with a Group 3 body kit? I believe so, yes. So An, an optioned up Group A, is it? No, it is, a, it is actually a Group 3. Oh, it's a Group uh, 3. Yeah. The buying range on this is two to 300. A lot of people want these sorts of cars now, so. Yeah, they're certainly shot up in the market. I think they're, they're becoming a usable classic. Yeah, yeah. So there's something that will sit on the road quite comfortably and, and do your 100 k's an hour without much issue. That shield style interior, you know, it never gets old. No. Nah. It just, it's always a good looking interior they and they're so such well. comfortable seats. When I was growing up as a kid, Ryan, this is all I wanted. <laughs> Alex hatchback. Your Tirana hatchback. You were saying earlier this one's a little bit modified. It has uh, started life as a 253 V8 car. It's now running a 308 with a five speed manual. Is being offered unreserved. Yeah. Um, we've got a guiding range on this at 60 to 70. But once again, we'll make what it makes on the night. Could be a whole lot of fun for someone that's not, uh, not too worried about matching numbers and you know, ID tags and everything like that being all correct. So. Yeah. Someone like myself buying this, I just I just want something that's not falling apart with rust. Do you know what I mean? Yep. I don't couldn't care less about ID tags. No, I think it's she's a pretty solid girl. It's, it's you want to be you want to be able to drive it. There's nothing absolutely. Worse this than is just yeah. buying these cars and leaving them in the shed for ten years. No, jump in and drive. Is that a factory color? It is. This is uh, factory three hundred eight GDS HQ coupe. Yeah, being finished in the lime green metallic. A dealer option to a besto roof. And, uh, and the houndstooth interior. Yeah, certainly a very 70s colour though. The car looks re very original. Yeah, it has, uh, has had paint in its life. But yeah, I can see that. It's not perfect, but... No, nah, but again, another car, really good driver. Like just good family car. 253, two-speed power glide. Um, been a really, really good restoration on this car. Uh, I've got a guiding range on this at 180 to 200. Epitome of uh, Corvettes, isn't it? Really, that this shape. is yeah certainly certainly getting up there. So 1960 Corvette Roadster, but this is a factory fuelie, so it's a mechanical fuel injection. Okay. This was uh, this was really a, a something to have for for back in the 60s. I see uh, this these in red, and I just think of that movie True Lies. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> so this this particular car before it actually came over from from the US was a Bloomington uh, Bloomington Silver car. Um, so one silver at its concourse. Uh, which is a pretty pretty prestigious event. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, got a guiding range of two to two forty on it. Hopefully, finds a finds a new home with someone. Such a classic shape. Oh, I think they're yeah American icon. So Ryan, this Mustang up here looks she looks a bit modified. She is a bit modified, and uh, this is this has been probably modified top to tail, full front end conversion, rear end conversion, so independent front, independent rear end, uh, disc brakes all the way around. Still left hand. No, it's, no, right, it's hand right hand drive. drive. Oh. Um, right hand drive, six speed manual. We have these same Michelins on our Yaris. They're uh, awesome. Good set of toys. Yeah. And guiding range on this one, we're looking at 180 to 220. I guess this is what you call more of the pro touring style build. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah as the Yanks would call it. It's yeah. definitely, yeah, pro touring. Well, something that can actually break and go around a corner. Yep, but still looks. Uh, still looks. Uh, still looks the uh, 
the classic look. Do you think being right-hand drive devalues these cars? I think for something like this, it's not too bad. It doesn't, does it? I, I think you're all right with these cars. Yeah. I think when you get into sort of the halo cars like your Shelbys and things like that, I think they're better off left, left-hand drive. Yeah, yeah. What can you tell us about these uh, Fords? Big banger of Aussie muscle, the, uh, the GDHO Phase 3. This car has been completely top to toe, nut and bolted restoed. Unfortunately, at some point in its life, it did lose its ID tag and it has got a, a re-stamped period correct block in it, but it is a, an absolutely fantastic example of a, of a Phase 3. Um, is being offered for sale once again as no reserve. Guiding range on this is a little bit higher than some of the other cars. We've got, we've got 600 to 700,000 on this one. That is some nice paint. It is, it is a very, very clean body. Uh, body. Body and paint on this car is absolutely sensational. You won't be able to really be able to tell by the camera, but yeah, that's a super nice car. Next one along, we've got a one family owned XY GT. Manual car. It's been in the same family since new. Since new? Since new. Um, factory electric blue, black trim, uh, and dealer optioned with, uh, with the vinyl roof and the, uh, the period correct alloys as well. You don't see many with them. They've all got the globe style. Wheels. The globes, yeah. Yeah. Got a range on this of 170 to 200. But given the interest we've had in this car in the last couple of weeks, it wouldn't surprise me if it blows that kind of range out of the water. Yeah. That's the classic color, isn't it? Yep. And this Tirana, what's this one? This is the 1973 uh, GDR XU1. Gee. Which was a, a 74 Brock ATCC winner. It's a bit more than a sticker price on there. <laughs> Just a little bit. This is one of the the Holy Grail Brock cars. Mm -hmm. So for those that are yeah, big Peter Brock fans, this will be one to have in the collection. Oh, so this w would have been one that yeah raced in the actual Touring Car Championship. Yes. yes. So very, very much a significant piece of Brock history. A little bit more agricultural inside than today's race cars. There's not much safety back then, was there? No. Nah. Nothing. A couple of bars and that's it. It's actually not the most expensive car here, is it? No, it's not, which normally it would be. But no, we've got a uh, something you wouldn't find very often listed in car sales or anything like that. So Lexus of Brighton's got their one yeah. that's on display regularly. Um, probably seen one down at the Fox Museum. Yeah, I've never looked at one up close though. No, this is uh, quite a special sort of thing for us. I think yeah, it'll be one of the first uh, worst public, first publicly auctioned LFAs in the market. One of uh, 10 in Australia, yeah. One of 10 Aussie cars, yes. Yeah. Uh, and for all the diehard Ford fans out there that are interested in a Lexus, this is actually build number 351 as well. Buying range of one to one point three million. So this is a this is a house on wheels. It is a house on wheels. But probably one of the arguably one of the best sounding engines ever. Yep, co-designed with Yamaha. It looks like a jet fighter co cockpit inside. Carbon everywhere. Even panels that don't need to be carbon are carbon. Correct. <laughs> Decent brakes. Jeez. Carbon discs. Does it have many kilometers on it? It's got just over five thousand Ks. Five thousand. Uh, one owner from new, bought brand new from Lexus of Blackburn here in Melbourne. All right, well, thanks for showing us around again, Ryan. Mate, it's been an absolute pleasure. Thank you so much. Yeah, if you want to jump on the website, you can start, uh, hopefully I'll have this out before the 2nd of uh, August. <laughs> It'd be great. But yeah, jump on the website, have a look at uh, have a look at all the upcoming cars. Uh, make sure you check out the cars and the, uh, the other auction sites as well. Yeah.